Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. here and welcome to vlog 3 of DIY mini electric boat build. So I polyputty the whole bottom and side walls and this acted as a stronger final layer and ceiling for the boat outer shell and uh, after smoothing it out and sanding I put the color it was a very very nice finish all right here's the progress update I was able to apply a layer of polyputty outside the hull uh, outside and bottom of the hull so it's acting as another strong layer uh, of polyputty um, and I can tell you it wasn't very heavy it was very little polyputty that I applied but it did a very very nice job in order to filling up all the gaps my mistakes and after sanding it was actually pretty nice and smooth after that I applied this anti-corrosion waterproof color which should act as a seal from outside as well and it's looking nice actually not bad There you go, in five minutes the epoxy will dry as well and then four screws. I also 3D printed it with a strong method, uh, a strong infill and thicker walls method. So I'm hoping this will be nice, a sturdy, strong hook to pick the boat. Handle and I've just shown you how it fits. Ready? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, look at that. MashaAllah. Man, it doesn't even budge. Nice and strong. And just put two fingers here and you can actually easily lift the whole boat. Yeah, that's why I fit it. Like, just with two fingers. Awesome. Let me install the rope handles, the different kind. For 3D printing these rope handles I use Shaper 3D, an amazing 3D design software on iPad that you can use to quickly prototype and design anything you want regarding engineering, woodworking, 3D printing, I mean you name it. This is absolutely an amazing software and I'm using it a whole lot to prototype all my 3D designs very quickly. Adding the rope handles was easy, just uh, drill hole, run the rope through it and add my 5 minute epoxy. I'm using this 5 minute epoxy a whole lot on this build because I find it cures very quick, it holds the pieces together really nice and strong like metal parts. Next I went ahead and spray painted the rails white with a little bit of nice shape that looks like kind of arrow and gives the boat a nice look. After that I built this simple top cover on the nose uh, part of the boat so that uh, maybe we can step on it or put some things on it. I might have to increase, extend this area but later will do if I needed it. For now it will do the job after adding my 5 minute epoxy it held its place nice and then I added some screws which I will remove later in this build. I painted it white, spray painted it white once again, removed the tape and it was a very nice color scheme. Next I went ahead and used the remaining foam that I bought for uh, building the DIY electric surf boats and of course that build video also needs some updates which I'm going to post on my channel. So I used this foam to build the seat for my boat and this is an idea to build the seat kind of detachable so that in case of emergency I can just you know hold on to the seat because this foamy seat will float and act as an emergency floating device. So if anything goes wrong the seat will be easily detachable and will act as a floating device for emergency use and life saving. It's a good idea so I'm not gonna fix this seat. 
Next, it was very easy to put one layer of fiberglass on it with AB epoxy and it did a very, very fine job. I used a fine weave cloth and the seat turned out to be very nice. Okay, so today's progress so far. I was able to finish the color. I added my 3D printed handles. This is the front handle and I have also shown you how do you bend the you know angles to exact dimensions. I have also built this one so kids can sit on it. Hadi is sleeping inside. So that is like kind of seating and kids can actually sit here and enjoy the boats. You know? Okay, uh, this is not the seat back side. This is going to be a compartment, a storage compartment, because I have to close it. And our main seat will be right here, which I just built today. Check this out. Built this with foam and put one layer of fiberglass cloth with epoxy resin. And this is going to be detachable. I'm going to add handles here at both sides, 3D printed handles. And this is going to be detachable, so just in case, you know, uh, if anything goes wrong, uh, you know, we can leave the boat and use this as a floating device. That's why I will keep it as, you know, detachable, so it can be an emergency floating device, you know. So, rest is good. We can build a bed for Hadi as well, <laughs> I believe. And yes, don't forget to check out my, these 3D printed handles which is like 10 12 mm diameter inside and the rope goes in I, d I drill the hole and then put epoxy at this side and now they are really nice and strong and if Hadi is sitting here keep sitting there I can still pick the whole boat up and they will not break so they are really nice and strong we can put it in the water and test it inshallah tomorrow once the ceiling and floating tests are done i have to do a lot of 3d printing uh design and 3d printing is still going on as we speak at home my logmax 3d printer is constantly 3d printing everything so steering system pulleys rudder uh, motor mounts there's a whole lot of things check this out I have put a list right here as a long list here and the task list and the 3D printed part and obviously this will increase as we go. So today I have done a little, a lot of tasks actually. Time for me to go up, take a bath, say prayers and get busy with 3D printing. Stay tuned for the first maiden floating test of our boat, DIY mini electric boat. Of course electric parts will come later. Give this video a big thumb up, big like follow our work, subscribe to our channel, and stay updated for all the upcoming updates. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.